is Veena from Pate Cake, the channel that's about baking and much much more. Here's where you'll find quick and tasty recipes for new cooks and those with less time to spend in the kitchen. And if you're looking for authentic ingredient proportions and all the essential instructions for each recipe, you've come to the right place. Okay then, let's get cracking with today's recipe. Welcome back. If you're fed up of having instant noodles in the same boring old way, the same taste, the same plain noodles, this is just the video you need. I'll show you three exciting and appetizing new ways to cook them in Chinese chow mein, Italian risotto and Thai curry style. The best part, once you have chopped your veggies, cooked your noodles and got all the other ingredients ready, these noodle dishes will come together in a jiffy. So let's find out how right here at Pata Cake. We'll start with the Chinese chow mein style noodles. The ingredients we'll need in addition to instant noodles are onions, tomatoes, a carrot, green capsicum, spring onions, sweet corn, an egg, garlic, ginger, star anise, red chilli sauce, dark soya sauce, tomato sauce, pepper powder, sugar, salt to taste and oil. For the veggies, we'll need two medium-sized onions, four or five spring onions, a medium-sized carrot and a capsicum. Tomatoes are not traditionally used in this dish, but I'm adding them for flavor. In addition, we'll need 6 cloves of garlic and 4 tablespoons of sweet corn. If you don't have spring onions, you could just add chopped coriander for some more green color. See that you use a sharp knife to cut the vegetables neatly. We'll chop all the vegetables lengthwise. This is the only slightly time-consuming part. Now if you're wondering what's the meaning of chow mein, chow means stir-fried in Chinese and mein or mian translates into noodles. And so chow mein just means stir-fried noodles. Now China is a large country and they have several varieties of stir-fried noodles. But traditionally they use egg noodles, lots of veggies, ginger, garlic, a little sugar to balance all the flavors and some protein component. We are going to use an egg for protein. But you could use tofu, paneer, shrimp or shredded chicken. One of the traditional spices they use in China is star anise. And so we'll be using this to add an authentic Chinese touch to our noodles. Star anise is also an important ingredient in the Chinese five spice mix. I will not be using the spice sachet that's included in the instant noodles pack. But for flavor, besides the star anise, ginger and garlic, we'll use a mix of sauces. So now let's prepare our sauce mix. We'll mix one and a half tablespoons of red chilli sauce, one and a quarter tablespoons of dark soya sauce, one and a half tablespoons of tomato sauce, and half a teaspoon of pepper powder. Don't chop the garlic too fine. For any Chinese stir-fry dish, the wok or pan has to be very hot. So if cut too fine, the garlic will burn easily, and this would spoil the taste of the noodles. Here I have a pod of star anise, around 2.5 tablespoons of roughly chopped ginger and an egg which we'll scramble directly in the wok. This is a 70 gram packet of instant noodles. Use any variety or brand of your choice. Now let's cook the noodles. I have around a litre of water in this vessel. To it, let's add half a teaspoon of salt and one teaspoon of oil. When the water comes to a boil, we'll drop the noodles into it. Let's cook them for one and a half to two minutes till they are al dente. That is, the noodles should be slightly undercooked and have a springy texture. Let's drain them using a colander or strainer. We'll now refresh them with cold water and then drizzle a little oil on them to keep them from sticking while we stir fry the other ingredients. This is around three tablespoons of oil. The heat is on high, so it's really hot. Let's saute the star anise in it for a minute. Then let's throw in the chopped garlic and immediately add the sliced onions. 
Let's add the remaining vegetables one by one, stirring everything on high heat. Let's push the veggies to one side, add a teaspoon of oil to the wok and scramble the egg. Once scrambled, we'll mix it into the rest of the contents. I'll now add half a teaspoon of salt, a sprinkling of pepper powder and around one teaspoon of sugar. Let's stir everything and then add the mixed sauces and the noodles. We'll toss the contents taking care to see that the noodles remain intact. Finally, we'll add the greens of the spring onions, quickly toss everything again and turn off the heat. And here's our steaming hot Chinese chow mein style instant noodles. Let's move on to the Italian risotto style instant noodles. The ingredients we'll need are instant noodles along with the included seasoning sachet, button mushrooms, green peas, onions, a green chilli, garlic, white pepper powder, water, milk, corn flour, cheddar cheese, salt, a few mint leaves and oil. For this recipe, I'm using 70 grams of cheese flavored instant noodles. You could use something similar or any other variety. We'll also use the seasoning sachet. Now as you may know, risotto is a creamy Italian rice based dish in which the rice is cooked in a rich broth with cheese and other seasonings till it's soft and mushy. So to make this like a risotto, we'll crush the noodles till they are more or less like grains of rice. That done, let's chop the onion into small pieces. We'll chop the green chilli finely and the garlic roughly. Now let's wash the button mushrooms. This is a 200 gram pack but I'll use just one third of it, around 70 grams and store the remaining in the fridge. Let's rinse the mushrooms at least twice in plenty of water and then pat them dry. You could peel off the outer layer of each mushroom if you want them to be absolutely white before you use them. But this step is optional, it can be skipped. We'll chop the mushrooms into small pieces. Here I have two tablespoons of oil heating in a small wok. I've set the heat to medium. I'll transfer the chopped chilies to the oil and then the onions. When the onions just begin to brown, I'll throw in the garlic. Stir it for a few seconds and then add the mushrooms. The mushrooms will release a little water at first, but this will soon dry up. We'll add a quarter teaspoon of salt and half a teaspoon of white pepper powder. We are not using black pepper because we want to retain the creamy white color of the dish. We'll give this a quick stir and transfer the cooked mushrooms to a bowl. To the same wok in which we cook the mushrooms, let's add one and a quarter cups of water and bring it to a boil with the heat set to medium. While the water is heating up, let's make a slurry with two teaspoons of corn flour and around three tablespoons of water. In place of corn flour, you could use either all-purpose flour or whole wheat flour. To the boiling water, let's add the crushed noodles along with half a cup of green peas. We'll cook these for around two minutes and then add the seasoning powder. Next, let's add the corn flour slurry, half a cup of milk, and around a quarter cup of chopped cheddar cheese. Let's stir everything well and cook the mix till the cheese melts. Finally, let's stir in the cooked mushrooms. At this stage, you could adjust the taste for salt. Our flavorful Italian risotto style instant noodles are now ready. Let's spoon the noodles out into a bowl and garnish the dish with mint leaves. Now let's cook our Thai curry style instant noodles. To make this, we'll need instant noodles and onion, boiled and chopped potato, chopped carrot, tomato, capsicum and green beans, ginger, garlic, chili powder, dhania jeera powder, coconut milk, lemon grass, sour lime zest, sour lime juice, sugar, salt and oil. Let's take a look at the veggies. Here we have half a cup of boiled and chopped potato, a medium size onion, one third cup each of chopped green beans, capsicum and tomato and a medium size carrot. Let's peel the carrot and cut it into half inch pieces and cut the onion finely. We'll have to make some smart substitutions in this recipe. 
Instead of lemongrass roots, we'll use a small bundle of lemongrass. And instead of kaffir lime leaves that are used in Thai curries, we'll use the water into which lemon zest has been soaked for around half an hour. You could use a potato peeler for scraping the zest of half a sour lime. And to make the Thai curry paste to one and a half tablespoons each of crushed ginger and garlic, we'll add one teaspoon of dhania jeera or coriander cumin powder and one and a half teaspoons of Kashmiri chilli powder. Let's mix all of this. For the coconut milk, to save time and for convenience, I'll be using two sachets of 25 grams each of dried coconut milk powder that I'll reconstitute with one cup of water. You could also extract one cup of coconut milk from freshly grated coconut instead. Now let's boil the noodles. Like I did earlier for the other two recipes, I'm using 70 grams of instant noodles. You can use any brand, any variety. Like before, I'll boil these till they're al dente. That is, till they're almost done, but not too soft. In this wok, I've heated two tablespoons of oil and will now add the chopped onions to it. Let's fry the onions till they start browning. I'll mix the water in which we had soaked the sour lime zest into the curry paste and then add this to the onions. I've rinsed the bowl with a little water and will add the rinsings to the wok as well. Now let's add in around half of the coconut milk and then throw in the chopped carrots and the beans. Let's reduce the flame and cook these for around 2 to 3 minutes and then add in the chopped capsicum and the bundle of lemongrass. Before serving the noodles, we'll remove this. We'll let everything cook for another couple of minutes and then throw in the chopped tomatoes and potatoes. It's now time to add the rest of the coconut milk. Add a little water if you need to. Let's give everything a stir. Mix in half a teaspoon of salt and one and a half teaspoons of sugar and let the curry slowly come to a boil. I'll now add in the lime juice. Check if the vegetables are cooked and then taste the curry. Just a quarter teaspoon more of salt and it's done. You could serve this dish in two ways. You could add one serving of noodles into a bowl and then ladle a little of the curry into it by the side of the noodles. Or else, you could add all the noodles to the curry, mix everything carefully and serve the tasty Thai curry style noodles piping hot. So here they are, three mouth-watering new versions of instant noodles each with a distinct flavor and texture and all three tasting super delicious. I bet you never imagined that the ordinary two-minute noodles could be this tasty. So do make these and check them out for yourself. Hope you enjoyed today's video and do stop by again for yet another quick and tasty recipe. Till then, take care. Happy cooking!